Welcome to Clinical Gyan. Today's topic is blinding in clinical trials. In this video, we will know about blinding, importance of blinding, types of blinding, and unblinding or breaking the blind. RCT, randomized controlled trials alone, are not sufficient to prevent the bias and get reliable research results. Blinding is needed along with randomization for completely concealing the treatment allocation. The best results in clinical research are obtained if the trial is randomized, controlled, and double-blinded. Blinding definition. Blinding is a procedure in which one or more parties in a trial are kept unaware of treatment arm allocation of participants. Depending on the type of the trial, the following can be blinded. Participants being treated, clinical staff or investigator administering treatment, team collecting outcome data, or data analysts. Why is blinding important? Blinding is an important aspect of any trial done in order to avoid intentional or unintentional bias during the execution of a clinical trial. This is important because bias can affect recruitment, treatment allocation, assessments of the patients, attitudes towards the patients, care for patients, objective of the trial, and reliability of trial results. Types of blinding. The different types of blinding are unblinded or open label trial, single blinded trials, double blinded trials, and triple blinded trials. Before knowing the types of blinding, let's understand that unlike randomization, blinding is not possible to perform all the time. The ability to blind a trial depends upon the nature of trials. Sometimes it may be difficult or nearly impossible to do blinding because of the methodological, technical, or ethical reasons. It is not possible in situations when subjects are assigned to trials like dietary, educational, behavioral, or psychological, exercise, or rehabilitation, Unblinded trial or open label. When blinding is not used in a trial, the trial is referred to as an open label trial or unblinded trial. All the people involved in the trial will be aware of the treatment group assignment of study participants. Open label trial can be used for surgical procedures, when lifestyle changes are required, life threatening situations, post-marketing surveillance, when ethical considerations do not permit blinding, and if no control group can be used. Single blinded trials. A single blinded trial involves blinding of any one group of individual, usually the subject receiving the intervention or the outcome assessors are blinded to the intervention assignments. Single blinded trials are used when double blinding is not possible and used when the experimental medicine and control cannot be manufactured identically. Double blinded trials. In a double blinded trial, any two groups of individuals are blinded. Usually the investigators as well as the study participants are blinded to the treatment allocation, so neither the participants nor the study staff know as to which patient is receiving the experimental medicine and which is receiving a placebo or another therapy. Advantages of double blinding. Double blinding is recommended in clinical trials. It is known to be the best controlled trial design. Decreased chance of observational bias. Double blinding should be used whenever possible. Triple blinded trials. Three groups of people are blinded to intervention assignments in a triple blinded study. Usually the subjects, the investigators, and the outcome assessors are blinded. Advantages of triple blinding. Triple blinding increases the accuracy and objectivity of clinical outcomes.
It helps to avoid bias in the analysis of results. These trials are difficult to conduct as they are complex and not applicable for larger studies. Breaking the blind or unblinding. Unblinding is the disclosure of the treatment to a participant or study team. Generally, blinding is broken upon completion of the trial. In blinded trials, protocol defines the situations that might warrant breaking the code. For example, a serious adverse event. In case of any premature unblinding, such as medical emergency, the investigator should promptly document and provide explanation to the sponsor for breaking the blind. The investigator also needs to ensure that the code is broken only in accordance with the protocol. Thank you for watching this video. If you like this video, please give a big thumbs up. For any queries, please mail at clinicalgyan at gmail.com and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Thank you.